So now in this video, we're going to make a current source with an op amp. This is a single supply op amp, the LM358. And that means that we have positive on one side, negative on the other, and negative is ground. So we consider that zero volts, and then not positive is uh, more positive by 10 volts. In any case, we're going to use fixed value resistors of equal values. That will give us half of the power supply voltage to the non-inverting input, 5 volts. And when you have negative feedback right here, the output changes its voltage as needed to keep the uh, inverting input voltage the same as the non-inverting input, so 5 volts. That means there will be 5 volts across this current setting resistor right there. And so that's going to let 5 milliamps of current flow. So that 5 milliamps of current is the same through series components right there. The inverting input does not let current in or out. It just senses the voltage. And uh, when it's negative feedback tied to the output, tries to hold that voltage the same there. So in any case, we'll have a current flow going through there. It's going to be 5 milliamps even as the load varies. So now for this video, we're going to use the op amp on this side. I think it'll be easier to see what's going on. One thing to note is that the inverting input is above the non-inverting input, whereas on the schematic, the inverting input was below. So you have to make sure you pay close attention and uh, wire that current setting resistor to the inverting input. Also, we got to power it pin 8 VCC and pin 4 ground. So you can see that right here. We got uh, pin 8 on top right there going to uh, VCC and then we got ground right there. There's the op amp we're not going to use in this video. So here you can see the inverting input. That's the current setting resistor, 1 kilo ohm, right there. And we have our fixed value resistors. They're both 10 kilo ohms, right there. So that's the uh, multiplier. I have them facing the wrong way, right there, if you want to read the color code. But in uh, any case, we have the output comes to this jumper. Output up there, going up to the LED and uh, we can swap out different loads right there. It gets it out of the way a little bit. So here you can see we have a 10 volt set at the power supply. I limited current to no more than 20 milliamps. We won't need that much, so we're good to go. We come, that helps protect the components if I short circuit something. Now we'll measure uh, voltage with the meter really quick. And uh, looks like I was off a spot. There we go. And this particular meter, I can just leave the red probe there for everything but high current. So you may have to move yours for a different uh, circuit. So I removed the uh, green LED, but uh, we'll come back to that later. So let's measure the uh, power. We can go to the power rails anywhere. Two points connect to the power rail, and you can see we got 10 volts right there. Now we'll come to our voltage divider at the non-inverting input, bottom pin to the right, and you can see that we have 5 volts. Now we're going to turn the meter to measure milliamps of current. So if you have numbers, set it to a number higher than what you expect to measure. So you'd want to set it above 5 milliamps of current. And so we're going to the inverting input now, the resistor there, down there. And then to take our measurement, we can connect anywhere along that jumper without a, a load. So that's at the output. We have to get the circuit going through the meter. We'll zoom back and there you can see we got a little bit more than five milliamps actually, but uh, pretty much five milliamps. We'll put the LED there, long lead the anode to that jumper, short lead the cathode down one spot. And again, that's going to the resistor at the inverting input going to ground. And we have our five milliamps right there pretty close to spot on and red LED drops less voltage so it's a, a different load but we saw no load and uh, looks like with the uh, slightly less drop voltage we get a spec more current but uh, you can see we're holding 5 milliamps even as pretty well even as we change loads uh, quite a bit so there's a 220 ohm resistor instead of an LED and we got 5 milliamps right there so that's it for the current source. And I make sure you turn off the meter when you're done. Definitely get it off of measuring current. Put it on measuring voltage if there's a power button or something. It's not a good idea to accidentally measure current. Check out one of the other videos that I'm posting.
click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. I have links down in the description. I'll see you in the next video.